What's up, everybody? Today we got one-on-one -on -one reps between Michael Pittman Jr. and Kenny Moore. Both great players to battling out, iron sharpened iron. And it's one good rep and one bad rep by Kenny Moore. So we're going to watch the reps, and then we're going to break it down. So right there, as you can see the first one, he did a good rep, chest to chest, everything right. And the second one, he kind of was a little bit off. So let's break it down right now. So we're going to slow this thing down for me. And then we're going to get into it. So right here, inside shade, good job. Working after man, all right? So he's protecting his inside. So the door is closed, right? Boom, good job. Now he's right where he needs to be, right? Boom, good job, boom. Hand right there and hand right here. Good job, chest to chest. And I like how as soon as he got hands on him, he's looking back for the ball to avoid the PI and also be chest to chest so we can man turn and be in good position to play the ball. Boom, good job, still hands on, looking for the ball, good job. He sees the ball and he attacks it, makes a play on it. Let's look at the other angle real quick. Boom. He's looking, he's looking, right? Sees the ball, chest to chest, get a position, makes a play on the ball. Great rep right there. Now, if you go to the next rep, let's fast forward this right here. Boom. Inside shade. Now, if you can tell, he's a little bit ahead of him, right? You want to force the fade, right? So he's kind of trying to beat him at a point instead of just meeting him at a point. But he's still in decent position, so we're not going to go too deep into that, right? Boom. Boom. See how he's ahead now. The receiver has more space. He has more space, so now he's going wider, right? Wider, release wider for the ball. Boom. So now, one thing he did, remember the last rep, hand here, hand here, but look what he did right here. Hand, his outside, his top field shoulder is on the receiver's inside shoulder, right? He's not chest to chest with the receiver, so now he's out of position. So all the quarterback has to do is throw it at the back pylon like he's supposed to, right? And it's gonna be tough for the DB to make the play. But if we're chest to chest, the receiver is gonna take us to where the ball's supposed to be, and we could be in better position to make the play. So if you look right here, boom, he tries to play the ball in the air. It's a little bit out of position to make the play. Quarterback throws a great ball where it's supposed to be, lands the receiver's hands, two feet in, touchdown so as you can see the biggest difference is when we playing goal line fade when we're playing the goal line man to man if it's a fade we have to get chest to chest man turn and be in position to make the play if we man turn and we're not in position we can't play the play because a good ball is going to win every time so what we got to do is what get chest to chest get to the receiver's hip Find a uh, ball as we manta, as we're playing, got our hands on the receiver, right? Now, when we do that, we're in better position to make the play. Biggest difference, right? Little things, especially down here, is very important. So that's the end of the quick film breakdown, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. Peace.